I named this show Reflections, Flowers, and Forests. I'm interested in the reflections on the water, both on the ocean and lakes and the LA River. I like the way trees are mirrored in the water, and somehow this changes both their angle of repose and the light that is shown on them in the water versus in the air. I'm also interested in painting flowers that have realistic raindrops on them as part of my effort to show light and reflection. And finally, I'm interested in forests. And these can be forests in some places like Death Valley, where there might be a small mountain garden, or it could be a forest along the Sierra Madre Mountains that looks more like a typical forest. I also paint a lot of times at the Sconzo Gardens and at the LA Botanical Gardens and the LA Arboretum. And these show a variety of trees from a variety of locations. I have one piece that the underside shows the underworld with sea creatures and fiery creatures. Then it shows the world in the center with mountains and trees and the sun. And then it shows at the top, it has a light that shoots up to the sky. So this is in a globe shaped thing that was actually a water filtration device that I found in an alley. It's on a pedestal near the window so that it will attract people by its unusual shape and qualities. La Rive Gauche, it's painted at the LA River and they have three fishermen in the bottom. They're just silhouetted because they're not really the high point of the painting. This was done in December of 2015 at the LA River. LA River Pasadena Bridge is 11 by 14. I think it's a very nice little painting that shows a lot of detail of the Pasadena Bridge. The bridge was built in the 1920s and is sort of a vintage, highly stylized painting. The Matia Poppy at Oso Park was part of our Tula Riva movement, and it actually shows a bee on the flower. My method is very unique among plein air painters. I begin with a board that's painted on one side. I do an acrylic understudy. I then go over it with the oil, and sometimes I have very thin layers of oil, especially over something like water, so that the underpainting shows through. By doing the acrylic and allowing it to dry, I can put the oil on top and create what looks like a studio piece in a much shorter period of time without waiting for the layers and layers of oil to dry. In the winter time, this poses quite a problem because I sometimes have to hold the paintings up in front of the heater in the car for the acrylic undercoat to dry. So sometimes I'm sitting there with the heater on full blast and all of the vents are pointed at the painting. And one of the byproducts of this is I sometimes get paint on the steering wheel as I'm holding the painting up against the vents. But this creates a very interesting and unique colorful form for my paintings. For my watercolors, I use Doc Martin liquid watercolors. These have a vibrancy that is much stronger than ordinary watercolors out of a tube. I also use some tube watercolors and I use some Japanese brushes to paint in large areas. I also do layering, so I might start with a yellow layer underneath and then proceed to darker and darker layers in other sections of the painting. I will end with a black or a dark, dark blue sometimes around the boundaries of a flower. I also have several sculptures uh, that I do in ceramics. Uh, some of these are early Precambrian fish like a catfish, another one's another Precambrian fish. They're sort of unusual in that the glaze on them is very colorful. I also have a number of pots that I also threw at the wheel and used a variety of unusual glazes on. I 
I'm a member of the California Art Club, the Plain Air Artists of New Mexico, and Plain Air Artists of Colorado. I do regular trips to Death Valley as well as to Zion and other places in California and the West in order to paint a variety of scenes from desert to mountains to oceans to lakes. Hi, I hope you liked my video and I hope you'll come visit me on markhafeman.com. We have lots of exciting content including my other paintings, watercolors, oils, and there's some gift certificates that you might like. As well as, every so often I give away a painting. Hope to see you. markhafeman.com M-A-R-K-H-A-F-E-M-A-N dot com. Markhafeman.com. See you there.